everyone. Today we're going to be installing WordPress on our mid-phase hosting account. The first thing we need to do is open up our welcome to mid-phase email, which we have already done, and click on the link for the client hosting interface. We'll log in to the CHI. Next we will click on the shared hosting then we'll select our domain name and next we'll click on cPanel once inside the cPanel we'll scroll down to software services where we'll click on the icon for the Softaculous one-click installer we'll click on WordPress install and this is the WordPress install screen. This is the form we need to submit in order to install WordPress. We first need to select a protocol. You can always change that later through the WordPress dashboard. Choose a domain. It's already been entered for us and it is correct. The directory as we will be using WordPress as the content management system for our entire site we're going to delete WP as we would like to install WordPress in the root domain so we're leaving this form field blank database name the default is fine table prefix the default is fine then we need to choose a site name and a site description these two fields can be changed later, so don't worry about getting them exactly right the first time. We're going to use NCM Test Site 07. As a description, we're going to use NCM Test Site for mid phase web hosting. Next is Multi Site. As we only need one WordPress installation, we're going to leave that blank. Next, we need to choose a username and password. Next, we enter our email address. Select language. English should do fine. Select plugins. Limit login attempts. This is an excellent plugin as it helps to thwart hackers. So we're going to check that box. We'll take a look at the advanced options. Disable update notifications. We're going to leave that unchecked as we would like to receive notifications when WordPress has been updated. Auto upgrade. We're going to leave that unchecked as we'll decide when to upgrade. Automated backups. Always a good idea. So we'll select once a week. Backup rotation this is the number of backup copies kept on the server and for our purposes three will suffice next we'll enter our email address again and then we'll simply click on the install button as we can see from the message congratulations the software was installed successfully we can now go and take a look at our WordPress site. We'll log into the WordPress dashboard by using the WP admin link. As you can see, we've arrived at the WordPress dashboard and to take a look at our site, we'll click on the link that says visit site and this is our new WordPress site as you can see here there's a default post we can delete that later and WordPress has been successfully installed I want to thank you for watching this video and remind you to visit NCM online for web hosting reviews coupon codes and more